Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, we'll show you how to use the Morningstar device editor to program your MIDI controller to send the MIDI messages you need. In this video, we'll also show you some powerful new features found in the editor that make our controllers a joy to use. As you know, you can program your Morningstar MIDI controller on the controller itself without the editor. However, using the editor makes it much faster, easier, and clearer when programming your MIDI controller. The same editor works for all Morningstar controllers, so today's video applies to all Morningstar users, regardless of which MIDI controller you own. To use the Morningstar device editor, you will need a Morningstar MIDI controller, a USB cable, which is included in the box, and a computer. Make sure that your MIDI controller is updated to the latest firmware to enjoy all the newest features in the editor. If you are not sure how to update your device firmware, click on the video link in the description down below to learn how. There are two ways you can access the Morningstar device editor. The first way is through your Chrome web browser. This is our recommended method because the web version is always the first to receive new updates and features. Now remember, this only works with Google Chrome. The second method is by downloading the desktop application for which we have both Mac and Windows versions. This is particularly useful for those who don't always have internet connection. In this video, we'll use the web editor which can be accessed from the Morningstar website. Once you've accessed the editor, Simply connect your Morningstar MIDI controller to your computer via USB. Click on the top left button in the corner to connect your device. Your Morningstar device model will show up on the screen. Now let me give you a quick orientation of the editor layout. On the top right, you will see the current bank and preset switch you are editing. And just below that, there are navigation tools such as Bank Up, Bank Down, and Toggle Page to help you navigate through your device. In the row below that, you will see navigation tabs that take you through from editing a preset, editing a bank, backing up your controller, monitoring MIDI messages, and our brand new Morningstar MIDI dictionary. In this video, we're going to go into detail for each of these functions, so if you're feeling a little intimidated right now, don't worry, you'll get everything by the end of this video. Now let's move on to show you exactly how to program a preset on your Morningstar MIDI controller. Once you've connected your controller, press the switch that you want to edit, and it will show up on the editor. In this example, we are editing preset A in bank 1. The next thing we want to do is name your preset so that you always know what each switch on your controller does before you press it. In this example, let's call this preset Dope. You can also give each preset an optional long name if you like. Dopest preset ever. This will show up each time you press a switch. Now moving on to programming the MIDI messages for this preset. Each preset on a Morningstar MIDI controller can send up to 16 different MIDI messages at once. The first 8 messages are shown in the rows here. If you need to send more than 8 MIDI messages, simply click on this tab to reveal messages 9 to 16. Now let's go back to the first 8 messages and program the first MIDI message for this preset. First, choose what action you would like to use to send the MIDI message. You have quite a few actions to choose from, but the actions you will most commonly use are press, release, long press, and double tap. For this first message, let's select a basic press action to trigger this message. Next, choose what type of MIDI message you want to send. Morningstar MIDI controllers can send virtually any type of MIDI message you need. Aside from the usual program change and control change messages, they can also send MIDI clock, note on and note off, sysx, and real-time messages, among many others available for you to select from the drop-down list. Let's choose a program change message with PC number 23 for this example. Next, choose which MIDI channel you want this message to be sent on. If the device you want to control is set to MIDI channel 1, be sure to send this message via MIDI channel 1. And that's it for MIDI message 1. Now let's program a second message just to make sure that you really get this. For this second message, let's select a double tap action. This means that MIDI message 2 will only be sent when you tap on switch A twice in quick succession. For MIDI message type, let's select a control change message with CC number 17 and CC value 127. Let's pretend that the device this message is intended for is set to MIDI channel 2. So we need to make sure that this message is sent via MIDI channel 2. To save the changes made and see them reflected on your MIDI controller, simply hit the Save Preset button anytime during the edit. On the right, you will see Copy and Paste tools that allow you to conveniently copy and paste messages. To clear a message quickly, simply double-click on the Clear button. You can also name each bank on your Morningstar MIDI controller. This makes it easier to categorize your presets and also create set lists. To do this, click on the Edit Bank tab. Type in the name you want, click Save Bank Settings, and BAM! You can also copy and paste banks throughout your entire controller. 
In addition to programming your MIDI controller, the Morningstar Device Editor also allows you to back up your MIDI controller presets to your computer. This way, you never have to worry about losing your preset settings and can transfer them to a new device in future if you ever need. Click on All Banks to back up your entire controller, or click on Current Bank to back up only the current bank. When you restore only one bank to your controller, make sure that your controller is at the bank that you want to overwrite before uploading the bank data. Alright, now moving on to two new features that have recently been added to the Morningstar Device Editor. First up, we have the MIDI Monitor. Here you can see the MIDI messages that are being sent from your Morningstar controller. This allows you to make sure that your MIDI controller is indeed sending the correct MIDI messages. Now let's use the dope preset that we programmed earlier on to show you how the MIDI monitor works. If I press switch A once, you can see that PC message 23 is being sent on MIDI channel 1, just like we programmed it. And if I continue doing that, the MIDI monitor will continue to record the same message being sent each time I press the switch. Now, if I double tap switch A, we can see CC message 17 with value 127 being sent on MIDI channel 2, exactly like we had programmed earlier on. The MIDI monitor is especially useful for troubleshooting your setup, for times when you are unsure if the problem lies with your MIDI controller or the receiving device. Alright, now we've come to the final feature for today and the newest one to be added to our device editor, the Morningstar MIDI Dictionary. Sometimes programming MIDI can be a little tedious, requiring you to go through various user manuals to find which MIDI messages you need to send. So we've added a MIDI dictionary to help reduce the effort needed on your part. In the MIDI dictionary, you'll be able to select which device you want to control and quickly be able to know what messages you need to send all within the Morningstar editor. The MIDI dictionary will show you what PC messages need to be sent to recall your effect presets and also a full list of CC messages that control the various effect parameters on your device. The MIDI dictionary is ever growing and expanding. Along the way, we'll be adding more and more MIDI capable devices to it. If you've stayed till the end of this slightly lengthier video, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.